Volcanic eruptions. 30 plus facts and figures about the effects of volcanoes. What is the death toll from volcanic eruptions in recent history? There are many hazards with volcanic eruptions, but which is the deadliest? Keep watching for answers to these and many more. to 50 volcanoes are in what's called, continuing eruption. At any given time in the day, there are 20 active volcanoes erupting. There are 29 million people living within 10 kilometers of active volcanoes. There are 6 to 10 supervolcanoes on the VEI-8 level. That's the highest. Did you know that lava, is magma from Earth's core erupting onto Earth's surface? The top volcano lava temperature reaches 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Not as hot as our sun's core at 27 million degrees. There were 280,000 deaths from volcanic eruptions between 1500 and 2018. 170,000 of those deaths were from just six eruptions. And about 2,000 deaths, from 2000 to 2018. There are 1,500 active volcanoes above sea level. Active volcanoes are classified as those with recent or potential volcanic eruption. About 60 volcanoes erupt every year. And every two years, there is a new volcanic eruption with no historical record. What's known as the Pacific Ring of Fire, has about 75% of all active volcanoes. Erupting volcano lava can spew up to 600 meters, 2,000 feet, in the air. But not as far as volcanic ash, which can reach 45 kilometers. Volcanic ash contains, volcanic glass, mineral crystals and volcanic rock fragments. Volcanic ash can stay in the atmosphere for months. Volcanic ash affects health, housing, aviation, crops, clean water supply and more. While volcanic ash can stay in the atmosphere for months, volcanic gases can stay for years. Gases from a volcano eruption contain carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Both volcanic ash and gas can reach the stratosphere where commercial airplanes fly. The sulfur aerosols in volcanic gas can have devastating effects on climate by reflecting solar radiation and absorbing terrestrial radiation. As a result, a volcanic eruption can produce a volcanic winter. Volcanic eruptions also bring acid rain. Acid rain is any type of precipitation falling on the earth with acid content, wet or dry. Acid rain forms when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide gases mix with water in the atmosphere or on earth, to form sulfuric and nitric acids. Acid rain affects breathing, eyesight, aquatic life, plant life and building structures. It also causes leaching of important minerals from the soil such as calcium, nitrogen, and phosphorus. And it mobilizes toxic metals such as lead, mercury, chromium and cadmium making it easier for plants to absorb them. Wind can carry the gases that form acid rain great distances, such as in the 1783 eruption of Larki in Iceland that lasted for eight months and affected many European countries. Here's a comforting fact. You can walk faster than most volcano lava flow. This is because most volcano lava has high levels of silica. Silica is a sticking agent which causes lava flow resistance. Volcano lava with low silica, leading to low flow resistance, can travel 60 km per hour, or faster. Most deaths from volcanic eruptions do not come from lava flow, but from pyroclastic flow and lahars. 
pyroclastic flow contains lava fragments, volcanic ash and volcanic gas and can travel at speeds of up to 700 km per hour, 435 miles per hour. Pyroclastic flow burns everything in its path with temperatures reaching up to 700 degrees Celsius, 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Death is instant as body fluid is vaporized. This was the fate of many of the victims of the Mount Vesuvius eruption in 79 AD. When pyroclastic flow mixes with snow or water, it can produce lahars. Imagine wet concrete, full of debris and meters high, flowing towards you at speeds up to 200 km per hour, 120 miles per hour. Lahars have been up to 140 meters, 460 feet, deep. A lahar can be hot or cold and when it stops, it hardens much like concrete. Just as you see here in Renting village, Lumajang, Indonesia, after the 2021 Mount Semeru volcanic eruption. When lava from volcanic eruptions reaches the sea, the lava and sea mix create a volcanic lays. This mix can be deadly as hydrogen chloride gas mixes with fine particles of volcanic glass. It might look pretty, but it can kill you and also affect the environment with acid rain. Have you been affected by a volcanic eruption or visited a volcano? What have you learned from this video? Let us know in the comments. To support this channel, please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for your support.